Hello guys. So in this video, I'm going to help you connect this controller to your Android device. Uh, so this device has two different connections uh, to Android devices. So one of them uh, requires an app, which is this one right here. It's called Shooting Plus B3. And the second connection does not need an app. And you need to connect the, the controller in, in the right connection so you're able to use this app. Otherwise, it's not going to connect. Um, also, there's something interesting. Uh, this game right here, the trigger, uh, this one uh, can be played without an app. And I'm going to show you something interesting here um, in a moment. So this controller has all these different uh, connections here. And unfortunately, I misplaced the manual. And after testing, I was able to find some of these combinations here. So the combination for the app is going to be the home button plus A. And this one here represents the light that you will see blinking, which is, uh, as you can see, there are four lights here. So light number one is going to blink and you will see the name as X7 in your Bluetooth devices. So the second connectivity is going to be the home plus X button and you will see light number three blink and the name is going to be shown as X7 as well. Um, I wish they could have changed the name so there is no um, confusion but unfortunately it's a little bit hard to to distinguish them so let's try the first connection here so we need to press the uh, right home in a button so here you see the light blinking number one so let's go to our Bluetooth uh, settings here and as you can see here, we are shown the device. And, okay. So as you can see, you need to try it sometimes multiple times because, so here. So let's go back to our application here. And, all right, there we go. So it closed on me. Uh, you know, it's um, something that may happen to you, but it was just working just fine before. So let's see. So it's showing me connected here. It says connected. So let's probably close it. I will reopen it again and see. Okay, there we go. So that's. Okay, so as you can see now it's connected and um, let's try opening a game here. So I was playing this one earlier and it's not opening. Uh, all right, sorry, I need to close that here. So here, as you can see, so you just come over here, you tap on this uh, little bubble here and then you are presented with all the options here uh, where you want the so this is the letter a here and i place it here right here on the, where it says play so let's say here where it says hero so you want to place this arrow button here to be able to press that so you save it then so this right here this arrow is going to be pressing right there where it says heroes so I'm not going to be going into detail because I have done a video review of this controller I'm going to put a link in the description so you can see more information uh, I'm just uh, showing you here the the two connections that this device has uh, so let's try the second connection here which is going to be the uh, home plus X button. So I want to show you something interesting here. So this game, it's able to play 
uh, use the controller without the app. So one thing that, um, as you can see here, I'm in the settings, but I don't have any, um, I, I don't have the option to be able to uh, modify the controller. So what the, what the game offers is that you can assign an action to a button here. So let's say you want to jump and you want to assign it to the button B here. So right now, as you can see, it's not, I don't see that option. And the reason is because the controller is not connected in the right um, connection right now, which is going to be the home plus X. Uh, and that's something that may create some problems for you. So let's try and do that connection right now. So to turn it off, you press the home button here. You see the, the, the light turn off. So let's press home plus X. Okay, so let's go back to our connections here. And as you can see, we are shown again the same X7 here. So that's, uh, they should have put a different name here to, to avoid that confusion. But we're going to make that connection now. So now, as you can see, it's connected. So let's go back to the game that I was showing you right now. And, okay, let's close that. And as you can see, now you have that option that says Customize Game Gamepad. So some games, you um, may not even know that you can use the controller because you don't, since you don't have a controller connected, you're not going to see this option here until you connect the controller. So once you press that, so as you can see here, now you have all this. Um, so some of the actions here. So for example, the first one says fire here. So you press that and let's say I want to use the letter or actually this one here on the back. So I, I assigned the fire uh, action to this button here so then you have the reload button here so I'm going to, I'm going to assign it to the letter A let's say so uh, now it's going to um, you're, you'll be able to play here without uh, using the app that I was talking to you about which is this one right here so uh, some other thing I can tell you here. So you click save here, then uh, you go back. So some something that you would not be able to do here with the controller is that uh, you you would not be able to play here. And uh, let's say I want to move here and select all these different buttons here. So uh, it, it it'll still be um, it'll still require you to tap the screen. So only when you are already in the game. Uh, you're able to use the controller. So here, for example, I am able to, so this button I assign it to, uh, right, to fire. And yeah, so those are the two main connections that this uh, controller will offer you for your Android devices. Uh, so if you have any other device, then, um, just try any of these combinations here and you will probably be able to um, find the right for you. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and uh, consider subscribing if you find this video helpful. And thank you for watching.